Of the things that distinguished Franciscans from the other movements at his time, one of them was the insistence of St. Francis about the need to be faithful and obedient to the church, no matter how flawed it might seem at times. Francis knew that without being rooted in the church, the little branch that he began was doomed to wither and die. Another difference was the desire to work among the lepers, which nobody else wanted to do. They were the outcast of his day. 800 years later, Capuchins still want to be men of the church, of the people of God. It was 50 years ago this month that the first Capuchin Franciscans started ministering in Colorado. The friars had served in neighboring western Kansas for almost a century before they moved here. A mounting undercurrent was compelling the friars to expand their ministry to include larger urban areas. Kansas City and Denver were the first areas considered. At this very junction in history, the Archdiocese of Denver was searching for a religious community to minister in one of its most challenged parishes, Annunciation Catholic Church, located in one of the poorest and most dangerous neighborhoods in Denver. Divine Providence provided a matchmaker. Mr. Jerry Roth, a prominent Denver Catholic businessman, was a native of Victoria, site of the Capuchin's first friary in Kansas. He was a good friend of both Archbishop Casey and the Capuchins, and arranged for a 1969 meeting of the two groups. Following the example and teaching of St. Francis, the Capuchins in 1970, when my hair was even longer than it is today, heard the call of the Archbishop of Denver and saw the need for our presence there. After a period of prayer and discernment, they decided to answer that call and put down roots in Colorado. On May 5th, 1970, Capuchin Father Polinus Carlene, a former military chaplain, and another friar, a veteran Puerto Rican missionary, left Victoria and drove to Annunciation Parish in Denver. Over the next 50 years, that little sapling we planted at a Denver parish has sprung forth new branches and countless ministries to Colorado's poor and marginalized. And the rest is history.